I'm insisting that's neat. I haven't really had a chance to go through the, the manual recently. Not since I scanned it in. So. <laughs> Atlas game. Keep on Ichi. Oh no. It's gonna have the item world. We're screwed. Oh uh yeah. -huh. Trail series, nice. Taking a quick look through the manual here. Playing your horn in the reward. Appreciation reward. Character level up and skill level up. Very chill music. We were watching just a moment ago. A deception? <laughs> Is that not Rhapsody? No, it was not. Monster introduction. There's some very naked monsters in here. Characters. Musical. It's gonna be great. Fantastic. You must look further than just mere appearances to see. Cornette, are you following this? What's important is what's inside of you. What's inside of me? Don't you understand what I am saying to you? Look inside yourself and you will find out what is true. You must be courageous and be true to your heart. <laughs> it will make you happy when you know just where to start. Okay. I see it's what's inside of me. Yes, what's inside of you? Someday I'll find my love. He'll be the one for me. I will be waiting patiently until he comes. I told you don't wait. You take the initiative. Now I remember, think for myself. Yeah, that's it. I know I'll find him, and he will be the man of my dreams. We'll share our lives as one until the end of time. Someday our hearts will be at one. Yay! <laughs> this is going to be a fantastic game. <laughs> This is kind of cool, but extremely easy. Yeah, that's why I hear too. That's a, it's such a such a different like tone compared to the last game. Where everybody gets murdered and death and destruction, and you have this musical number. <laughs> this is. I was just just letting it hang at the at the menu here. I, was, I don't know if we're gonna see the same thing during the actual game, but I was, <laughs> I was like looking at the manual, and suddenly they start singing. This will be a fantastic game. 
Hey, Water Maven, how's it going? Welcome to Rhapsody. You're just in time for the start. <laughs> no music for you. Amazing parts, thank you. Let's go on, Cherry. True Courage, Amphibian Parade, Evil Queen, Our World. Let's go on, Contest. Someday, I'm assuming it's the one we just heard. Yeah. And this one comes with the soundtrack, too, so it's like, <laughs> you can listen to the, all these songs separately, too. I know that you're out there and you even have, like, a little... Kind of nice little kind of karaoke style thing. Seems better than people say. Probably. And the music seems epic. Alright, so let's set the timer. Now that we had our fill of the intro. Did I close my set the timer. Timer, please. There we go. Timer is started. Alright, let's do this. Finish Gauntlet Legends, Finish Gauntlet Legends, and Des Deception 3. <laughs> we gotta keep it in English, but it's, I'm curious to, to hear some of the songs in Japanese, too. I wonder if you can, if you said to Japanese here, if we can listen to them in the musical setting thing. We'll keep it uh, in Japanese. Well, apparently people say this game is easy, so let's play it on hard. <laughs> let's try hard and see how hard hard is. <laughs> run, Cornet, run! Well, we're ready to the final boss. That was easy. <laughs> Bunch of 30 year old plus men are target audience. Are you okay? Did you get hurt? It's my prince! <laughs> oh no, I'm fine. Thank you. He's the man, the man that I dreamt of. My ideal prince. I finally found him. This really has any funny cheat game. I know, right? Oh, oh, my, my prince! There goes the alarm clock. Hey, stop it! Character portraits are glorious. It's a very cute game so far. <laughs> Smooch! I said quit it! Oh, my prince, my dear prince, I'll never let you go. That's it, wake up, Cornet! Ouch. Hey, what's the big idea? Why is she, like, dressed all of a sudden in that portrait? <laughs> when they keep her portrait where she was not wearing anything. Good morning, Cornet. Are you awake now? <clears throat> yes, I'm up. You're in a perfectly fine good dream. What? A dream about the prince again? Don't you ever get bored of that? What's wrong with that? Someday. Yes, yeah, someday the prince... Just like the one in my dreams, Will. Get real. Anyway, hurry up and get dressed. Grandpa's calling you. Alright, already. I'll get your pantyhose in a bunch. <laughs> yeah. Some big lips. Rhapsody Musical Adventure. This game support analog. It does. Yay! At least one game supports analog, unlike some other games that shall rename nameless. Freaking deception piece of crap controllers.
looking in these things now. Is X the OK button in this one? Let me double check. Then, well, circle was the menu. It's weird. Uh, move action. <clears throat> Triangle bent and cancel selection. Yeah, X is confirm. Main character run by pressing this button. Well, we got analog, so. It was a fun game, except for the controls. Controls were by far the worst part of that game. But other than that, it was, it was pretty fun. Healing candy, heal coca. There's 20 HP, 10 MP, offense plus 5. I guess these are accessories, like rings. Sugar candy, sugar candy attack. Land, cake, pancake, heart. Jeez, it's about as cutesy as you can possibly have here. Pancake attack, all enemies. Cake attack. Flan attack. Aha! Human neutral, close range level one. Can we save anywhere? Hmm. Maybe because we're in town. The place we're at, Inotium. Inotium. Things we can switch any time. So we like, if we get a musical number, we can like reload and then hear it again in Japanese. <laughs> Hornet, I found this puppet in the mailbox. Hi. Can you hear me? No. <laughs> well, since you're an you are answering me, I guess you can hear me. You must be the girl who plays the horn and makes friends with puppets. My name is Shart. <laughs> Sharts are Sharts aren't fun. <laughs> That's not something you want to have as a shart. Looking forward to my sister, Tara. She disappeared after saying she wanted to bring become a human being. <laughs> Let me play your horn and let me join your party. I think I can find my sister if I travel with you. The mighty shart. Make right, sure you have a uh, clean pair of panties wherever you go, I guess. Please, Cornette. Nah. Please, will you take me along with you? Nah. God damn it. Fine. Thank you, Cornette. Shart has joined the party. Who had name Shart? Are you taking your puppet with you? Sure, love your puppets. They do me a favor. And the, the fire in the fireplace is getting weak. Five games. What's in fifty-five games? Seventeen streams. I'm thinking Dragon Quests or Dragon Warrior Seven. <laughs> you go to the forest and. Bring me back some red notium? Nah. I'm kinda busy. Will you go get it for me? No. God damn it. <laughs> Thank you, Cornet. Oh, don't forget to equip the accessory you want before you wander in the woods. Your grandfather takes very good care of me. I want to thank him, but I can't. The average human can't hear our voices. Mural Fantasia was gonna be that long game, but thou must. Bidu, bidu. 
Oh, that was shirt. <laughs> oh, the puppet on the ground was a shirt. I take a lot of notes. I'll eventually run to, to the, the correct or go to the correct path, I guess. I don't need to bring back some red notium. Should go talk to the people in the village before you go to the forest. Hmm. I'm guessing there's no webs. Uh, there's nothing inside of like boxes and stuff in this game. I imagine we'd have found something in our house. Especially obvious stuff like bookshelves and these barrels here. Introduce myself. My name is Colin, and I live by myself in Blue Cat. I like to read and study ancient civilizations. I'm also a wonderful cook. Please come visit me sometimes, Colin. Damn it. No, god damn it. <laughs> hey, Cornet. How you doing? You going to the Wonderwoods again? Watch out for those toads. I know you can't stand them. Cornet looks in the well. Cornet sees the reflection of her sleepy face in the water, and boy, is it scary. This music is very chill. Bring my controller before it dies on me again. <coughs> of course, went back to a... Came off analog as soon as I plugged it in. Uh, hey, Cornet, how are you doing? You going to the Wonder Woods again? Can't find a toad. I wanted to give it to you, Cornet. Koro, Koro. Where did Koro go? I'm so worried. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Nothing hidden over here. No. I'm sure your parents would have been happy to see you all grown up. Of course. RPG hero, my parents are dead. I'm just some people, and even dogs. I like to run around like them. Hopper is so worried that Koro would run away from him. But he did run away from him. Alfred used to be a very quiet child, but after he got Koro, that all changed. We were so happy to see him so full of life. Students are killed by sentient puppets. Damn it, Chucky. Miss Marl Contest. Who will be the winner this time? This is Melody Square. Hey, Cornet. Why don't you play your horn here? Nah. You won't. Bummer. I really wanted to hear you play. Fine. Way to go, girl. Uh, let's see. Hope oh, we have her age in the manual. Yeah, it just like cuts off at the end there. All right, 15 in Odium is a tip. <laughs> she is 16 years old. Kururu, which is the name of the fairy, is question mark. There is sexist question mark. I guess it is a puppet. Apparently it's a puppet. <laughs> that was a fairy, but makes sense. It's a little fairy puppet. Nodium is the source of our energy. It's very important to us. Nodium is also used as currency in this kingdom. Troublemaker Kuru with you. Oh, hi, Kuru. 
I'm going to the Wonderwoods to get some Enodium? No. <laughs> That's alright then. You're worried because of that witch. Take care of yourself. People say the mean witch lives there. I forget to equip your accessories. Hey, Xanth. No, yeah, just, just at the beginning. I'm sure your parents would have been happy to see you all grown up. You, you missed the first musical number. Well, I, I guess it's the first musical number. Just let it hang at the uh, at the uh, menu screen. <laughs> I got one. Mother Green is the center of the fashion world. It's really classy, unlike some. Uh, I really want to move Mother Green. I gotta save more. I'm kind of surprised they didn't have the musical number like play after you start the game, kind of thing. If I didn't let it hang in the menu screen, I would have missed that musical number. Sponges just hate being picked. Why don't you talk to the puppets? I tried talking to that puppet over there, but it doesn't answer me. It's really starting to bug me. Husband talks to the puppets every day. He's going crazy. Everybody tries talking to me all the time, but I can't answer him. I'm jealous of Kururu. She's a puppet, but she can talk to people. So I guess the other people can understand Kururu? Run 40 Nodium. Rich! Your grandfather's a genius at fixing puppets. I thought our son's puppet was ready for the garbage, but he fixed it no problem. Can we play... Can we just, like, get unlimited money this way? Not that we probably need it or anything, but... It's like you can get unlimited money. Unless there's like a limit. Are we in this house yet? That's it. Did. Just reopened. Where are you going? I don't want to go in the woods. There's a witch there. I thought she was just a kid at first, but she summoned a giant dragon. Told me to give her all the unodium I had or else. Monsters wandered in. A commoner's shop. I'm a monster master. I store your monsters. So this is Pokemon? <laughs> Back anytime. Tell Concierto and Thousand Arms on sale now. Oh, we played Thousand Arms already. I guess that one was super anime, too. Welcome. Antidote chips. <laughs> Paragum. Let's see back to the world map. Hey, lizard. The weapon dating game, yet yeah, pretty much. The game has some fantastic voice acting and, and like anime, anime waifus. Go <laughs> to the Wonder Woods to get some Nodium. My son spends Nodium like he grows on trees. Better start saving it. Is it rotten? <laughs> yeah, before they decide to make like a uh, thousand hour long games. I can't believe how stingy my mom is with Nodium. I asked her to give me a petty 5,000 Nodium to go on vacation in Mother Green. She just flat out said no. Can you believe that? How dare she? Yes, she is. And a fantastic musician, too. Bah, bah. Woof. 
Woof. <laughs> you get tired. Talk to the goddess of statue. Has no power or has the power to heal you. A very uh, buxom statue. You can give you a thousand hour game. Well, more so with modern games that have, like, their kind of open world games. I mean, if you're spending a thousand hours on, like, uh. Like, Dragon Quest 1, <laughs> then what the hell are you doing? I was been died fighting Minstrel Wars about 16 years ago. Come on, talk to him. Hello. But alongside your father in Minstrel Wars 16 years ago. What was the fashion that you seldom see nowadays? Can't look at the epithets. Even that would definitely not take you a thousand hours. She doesn't have many side quests, huh? Wonderwoods. A Raimondo. Fire breathing whale. Borog Borogama? Land of Marls. Something desert. <laughs> the back of desert. Red burst. <laughs> Apple plane. Wind, wind to north. This world map doesn't seem that big either. Back a desert. <laughs> Winter is coming. Oh no. Sounds like me in Final Fantasy VIII. Like 50 hours of actual gameplay and... Like 40 hours of uh, triple triad. Heard your allies will fight automatically when you press the circle button. Well, if speedrunning is three hours. I mean, that's like speedrunning usually you just efficiently do everything, so it's still gonna be. Not gonna be super short, but it'd probably be probably gonna be taking me like a couple ex extra streams. Like today, obviously, I won't have that much time to play because I've already, you know, just started this one here. But I can see finishing this one in a couple streams. Wow, what a great day! I know what you're thinking. I wish you could just take a walk with the prince. Am I right? Admit it. Oh, I went through the same phase a long time ago. <laughs> huh? You're looking at me like I have a third arm. I have some experience in love, too. My age or being a puppet doesn't matter. Love is love. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> hey, Cornet, you hear something? What the? You toads! It well, depends. Uh, some games, some games can be speedrun like can can really be cut down when you're speedrunning. And some games are practically on rails, so even the best speedrunner can't really reduce the time by that much. Horn. These are horn. That do. Some sort of healing thing. Can I attack in front of me? Oh, 
holy damage. Punch that toad. Introductory SRPG, yeah. Looks like it's probably fairly simple. Well, it's not really an SRPG. So far, it's so far it's like a JRPG with like you know light with the with kind of SRPG like uh, combat. So far. Is Horn healing, or... I don't want to accidentally, like, heal the enemy, or damage my own dudes. Uh... Action Horn. And is for Cornet only. You can have Cornet play her Horn to power up the puppets around her. Okay. This doesn't heal, but it powers them up. Boy. Really increases the damage of it. Found healing candy. How horrible. Hate them so much, why don't you just run away from them? Duh. He's so stupid sometimes, Cornet. I can't help it, I was born that way. Cornet, can I ask you for a favor? Again? What is it this time? Have our lunch now. I'm starving. Your puppet, you eat. <laughs> not yet. Not until we find some, you know... Growl. Ha ha ha, see? You sound hungry, too. Don't, don't you know that the hungry soldiers can't fight? So let's eat now. We're not soldiers, though. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, let's eat. Yeah, it's about time. Good question. Eat a, a ball of yarn. Maybe a couple buttons. Uh, I'm so full. Happy, happy. Alright, would you sing my favorite song? Nah. We have to be that way. Come on, sing for me. You big meanie. Wait, actually, accepted it, accepted the no. I'm gonna go further into the woods and find some anodium. Well, let's reload there, because I want to hear that song. I don't think it would actually let me say no. Uh, a quick... Quick load now. Ba -ba -ba. Key sequence in the manual. Hold down, select L1, R1, and press the start button. Okay. So just L. Select L1, R1, start. <laughs> you have to hold down select first because if you tried doing all, all four of them, or all four of them at the same time, it wasn't working. I'm so sure it doesn't use half the CD. Well, I mean, the other half of the CD is probably all the, uh, all the music. <laughs> sort of, yeah. But if I help, like, usually I do the L1, R1 first, and then press select start. This one is select first. <laughs> It's hard to tell with these uh, PlayStation CDs. Like, black. <laughs> but other than the music, I mean... Well, I guess there's, all this stuff is, like... Not pre-rendered, but it's all static backgrounds. So, it takes a decent amount of space.
It depends if the if the songs are in Red Book Audio, they usually take up like different they're, they're kind of different on the disc, I guess, compared to regular data. I don't know. I don't know how big the actual uh, ISO is. That'll give you a decent idea of how uh, how big the actual game is. Well, the game does come with a soundtrack, so I don't know if the I don't know if the songs would be in Red Book Audio on the disc, because I mean, why would they include a soundtrack if you just play them off the disc itself? <laughs> Get out of my way. Night had a red book Easter egg. Somebody wants to review you know you didn't ask for a job. That's always good though. That's the best when people headhunt you. And you're doing something right. Yeah, it could be that too, but depends if it's company you know. <laughs> Just some random, you know. For X Y Z. I'll offer you double what you're making now. All you need to do, all you need to do is send uh, send some starting capital to this. Uh, Nigerian prince. <laughs> yeah, worth a shot, right? <clears throat> Let's hear this musical number. Skip the cutscene. That'd be awesome. I like heard telling you this PlayStation Black Disc and you shouldn't put it in your CD player. I think I remember, yeah, I actually, uh, I remember tr checking that out. Yeah, every once in a while I check the discs to see if there's Redbook audio and... Yeah, yeah. I, I just picked up uh, Lunar and Sega CD recently. I don't have a Sega CD player. It's just <laughs> I just happened to get it for for nice and cheap. And yeah, it's got a little Red Book audio, which I guess makes sense in the uh, Sega CD uh, era. I got it for like a super cheap twenty five bucks. <laughs> Best twenty five bucks I ever spent. Complete in box and everything. Yep. Well, that's about the only way I could test it. <laughs> it's not like I could uh, pop it into my Sega, C my non-existent Sega CD. Yeah, it was it was a raffle, uh, so you put in, you put in some money and you had a chance of winning that. That was the main prize, and I happened to win it. Twenty-five bucks, like yep. <laughs> so it's my one and only Sega CD game in my collection. It's quite a Sega CD. Nice. Oh, it's becoming uncommon now, though. Because, you know, they're just breaking down. There's less of them out of the wild. I 
after your Mega Stream. Why don't they have that new, uh, se like, kind of Sega CD... Uh, what is it? Like, it's a... Uh, basically, like, a FPGA Sega CD thing now. Obviously, it doesn't play actual CDs, but... I guess it'd be a good combination with with Mega CD. All right, sing her favorite song this time. Sure. I'm not singing at all. Yeah, 200 bucks. But I mean, you got a mega CD and considering you don't have to worry about, you know, discs crapping out or whatever. Exactly. That's basically the same thing, right? No vocals. Or the Japanese version. Yeah, French need somebody who can sing, I guess. Sings a musical. Yeah, it definitely sounds. It sounds too good to be, you know, the compressed audio. So I'm, I'm thinking it's probably Red Book. Karuru, you think my mom and dad are always watching me from somewhere? Of course, they're always watching over you to make sure you're happy. Well, enough of this. Let's get going now. We have to find some nodium. I'm curious if we reload and we have the Japanese mode on, if it'll actually be in Japanese. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I guess for, for a lot of games, probably. But considering this game is specifically a musical thing, they, they, they instead of just getting a plain voice actor, they, they purposely went out to get somebody who's good at singing, you know? They paid like a singer. I wonder if they're credited. Probably credited. Uh, the staffs. Voice casting. Lyrics weakening. <laughs> hmm. There's nobody that's listed as a. <clears throat> As like the the the, uh, the the musician is like Carrie Gordon Lowry's is lyrics sweetening according to special things. Mary Lynn Weisner is voice casting. 
found out that the lyrics sweetening happens to be, you know, there's, there's multiple people singing, so. They're created in the sound test menu? Gotcha. I don't see anything in the manual, so. All right, let's reload the uh, the other one there. Try in Japanese just for the hell of it. Select R1R. Weird reload thing. Yep, <laughs> I've got the soundtrack ripped online too. Pretty decent number of songs on there. There's uh, 26 songs on the soundtrack. None of them are in Japanese, as far as I'm aware, so... So I'm curious if, like, the... Because, I mean, you have the choice for Japanese, so... I wonder if the Japanese ones... If the Japanese ones are there, they're probably... fairly compressed. Yep, Nibonichi. Japanese. We redo this super horrible, difficult fight again. It's bad you can't just skip the dialogue. Pause, but you can't like skip. I mean, there, it says musical in J Japanese, so why would why would they have the option Japanese if, you know, musical numbers aren't Japanese? I mean on the soundtrack, yeah. Yeah, I know that. So I've got the soundtrack, I got... I got this... I got a physical copy of all these games, so... <laughs> complete in box. Music is Japanese now. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I just switch to the Japanese and we'll see if the if you know it must be Japanese obviously, or otherwise why would they even give you the option? And then, is it like super compressed? Or does it sound just as clear? Hey, Kalak. Yep. Musical adventure. I'm assuming the subtitles obviously is still English. No, it's not even the subtitles are in Japanese. Interesting. Japanese English stuff does, yeah, which is weird.
Yeah. The R U T T A code, like it. Especially saying you and all that, so. So yeah, it's kind of kind of weird they put like the Japanese or like the the romant romanticized Japanese lyrics there, the so the English version. Obviously, we'll be sticking it back in English, but it's kind of cool they have both options. Something unique for this era. Back to English. Can't change the difficulty over. Stuck on hard now. Yeah, there's there's song lyrics in the uh, manual, so you could still. Uh, song was that one? It was nuts. Let's go on, probably. Yeah, let's go on. So it's kind of cool, though. It kind of makes you wonder how much they're... I mean, obviously they've got to be in some sort of crumb press format on the CD, because otherwise how the hell would they fit all the Japanese and English vocal tracks and all the other tracks and the game assets on, on the disc? <laughs> Should I pay for this game? I don't remember, remember, remember it being that expensive. I mean, probably around the average price for... Uh, for a PS1 RPG. I guess it wasn't like super popular either. I mean, it's a fairly unknown game for the most part. That's yes, Forest Nadley River, South Cave in the Woods. Random encounters. Some happy looking potted mushrooms. <laughs> what are those? Yeah, that's true. FMVs, uh, this thing definitely doesn't have FMVs. Yeah, but considering, uh, you know, you get a music, a soundtrack and everything, that's like 50, 50 plus dollars is about average for PS1 RPGs. I mean, hell, nowadays you pay like a hundred plus dollars for a special edition that comes with the soundtrack. Yeah, true enough. I mean, there's obviously some areas that were inaccessible once you you pass the disc. Maybe they need to re-put certain areas on each one, but yeah, most of the towns and things like that had to be on each disc. There's a lot of backgrounds. This one definitely has like a kind of SNES style thing. Like there's probably you know basic background. I don't know if these are. Like it looks it looks like the background is pre-rendered. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't look like it's it's made of different assets. But uh, these flowers look like they're added on afterwards. There's definitely some. I'm assuming these trees are too. Maybe we don't have any. We have two trees that look the same. Well, actually, these two do. This one here and this one here look the same on the edges here, so 
to definitely uh, build some of these by hand, but that's probably so the flowers are behind. <laughs> oh, trees and flowers are fake. Fake flowers. Level two. Great. We powered up our shard. I don't know if I want to power up a shard. Powered up shard sounds really nasty. Plus the flowers do not die. I guess when we leveled up, we healed up as well. Do you know? It's Encounter rate sucks. <laughs> he shared his bag. I did put it on hard difficulty as well. I don't know if the uh, increase, I don't know if you had like a higher encounter rate with hard difficulty. And you puppet. What was that? Is it a puppet? Oh. What was that? From the, from the sounds of a game, this game is uh, supposed to be relatively short, so... Now, if that's with a high encounter rate, I can just imagine how bad it'd be with a low encounter rate. A lot of nodium. Level 99 by the time we get out of here. Damn. Counter rate, please. At least they have an auto attack option. You constantly have to press the circle button. You can't just hold it down or anything. Still better than manually moving your characters. Where of monsters? Let's go back here first. Like some pre-rendered flowers and like some other flowers. <laughs> kind of stand out quite a bit. Hey, Madrino. Missed the musical numbers. Yes, Forest the Witch. South Nadley River. Guess the Witch is where we... Guess we would want to go, maybe? One shot it. <laughs> the worst shard ever. Looks like that horn already powers them up for one turn. But I guess first turn might as well, because I'm not I'm not fast enough to reach the enemy and hit them myself, so.
Ornette, I've got some red nodium. Here. Great. Things not right. I usually find a lot more than this. I guess someone came over and picked this place clean. Cats. The nodium that you guys have there. Give it to me. Yeah, give it to her. Meow. Nodium is for majorly. Majorly only. We're gonna meet majorly. So you better give it up if you know what's good for you. If you don't. Yeah, if you don't. I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> yeah, beat you up. The meow says. The meow says. Please shut up already. I can't take you guys anywhere. Who are these morons anyway? <laughs> Who cares? Don't pay any attention to them. Let's just get going before their stupidity rubs off on us. Sounds good to me. And just where you think you're going? Are you trying to ignore me? Hey, Karuru. Did you hear something? Hey, I'm talking here. Give up the Unodium or else. Why? Explained it all already. Are you not listening to anything I was saying? Punishment, meow. Punishment, meow. <laughs> say, what? That's the smartest thing I've heard you say all day. Why don't you guys give them some punishment? <laughs> Who, us? Meow? <laughs> yes. Oh, you like it. Meow. Move it or else! <laughs> this game's fun. Hey, Fankin. Doing well? Fresh start, yes. Very uh, unique game, to say the least. Aww. I guess all cats go ahead of heaven too. <laughs> it's a horrible bomb throw there. It's a very pretty game. It's very, it's very bright and colorful. A wonderful music too. On Paragum. Miss Meow, Miss Meow, they beat us up. No duh. These are pretty good, I should say. Well, I guess I should start taking them seriously. Meow. Hocus Pocus. Hooba Juba Upa. Yeah. Command you to come to me, meow, my super D duper dragon. God damn. <laughs> hey, don't you go to sleep, you idiot. Tee hee hee. You can like surrender any time, you know. Tee hee hee. What the heck is a dragon doing in a place like this? Not me. Come on, give. Me all your nodium or else. Meow. No way. I think I'm gonna fork my nodium over to you. You're. You've got another thing coming. Right, Kururu? Here, you can have it. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you out of your mind? You're a good girl. I like you, little one. Meow, meow. Hey, Kururu. You lousy traitor. You gotta give it to her. Otherwise, we'll end up as dragon food. Yeah, but... You're not thinking about fighting with that dragon, are you? Why not? Doesn't look that tough to me. You're going in alone on this one, psycho. <laughs> You're nuts if you think you can beat up that dragon. Your courage is facing adversity even if you can't win. That's not courage, Cornette. It's more like suicide. 
You know that when you die, the game is over, right? You'll have to watch the scene all over again. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall there, Karuru. But by some miracle you managed to come out of this alive, then maybe... Maybe your dreams will come true someday. At this specific point in time, I highly doubt... <laughs> Remember me? I'm the present of the Hungry Dragon. Give me your Enodium already. <laughs> ah. Watch out, Cornet. <laughs> the Prince. Who the heck are you? Worry, Meow. My name is not important. If you're immediately otherwise... Otherwise, I will slay you. Yeah, he means business. Hey, wait a minute. That crest on your sword belongs to the royal family. Miss Meow, let's get out of here. <laughs> These portraits. <laughs> you don't, won't get away with this, hero boy. Let's wait till, you, till Marjorie finds out about this. Are you all right? Are you hurt? My prince. My name is Ferdinand. What's your name? Poor girl. She's too frightened to even speak. Uh, well, this one's made by, uh... By, uh, Nipponichi. Same people that make made um, the Dis uh, Disgaea games down the road, obviously. Red Demon, speak. It's Ferdinand. It's Ferdinand. Well, you must have found out that I've been missing from the castle. Excuse me, fair ladies. I must take my leave of you. Journey home safely. Or it's just like, what? <laughs> that was the famous Prince Ferdinand. Intelligent, kind, handsome, daring, and even great swordsman to boot. It's everything a woman could possibly ask for. Huh. <laughs> hey, Cornet. Are you okay? Jesus, like you've never seen a prince before. Hey, but the Cornet. Cornet! Oh, no. Huh. <sighs> already. What's the matter with you? It's all I can do. Sigh. I can't help it. Hey, you found out the prince you've been looking for, didn't you? Why can't you be happy instead of sighing like that? I know, but... I see. You're bummed out because all... you didn't get to tell him your name. I didn't realize it was the real prince. Come on, enough of that. Let's make a move on him. Easy for you to say. I don't even know if I'll have the chance to see him again. Come on, girl. Didn't I always tell you? Take the initiative. Hey, if all this fails, just show him a little leg. You guys can't resist a little leg. <laughs> well, but... All right, then. Just do it as I say, okay? Got it? All right, so we have to find out more about the prince. You should ask the folks over in Orange and Mother Green about him. Cat print cover. Instead of different fates and destinies, just like humans. What if it is satisfied with the light it goes to heaven? Well, you brought me back some red nodium. Thank you, Cornet. If you ever have problems with puppets, come back and see me. They can be fixed with some nodium. What was that moving? Bring them to me. Compare them with nodium. Attacked by a witch in the Wonderwoods? What? You were rescued by Prince Ferdinand? I'm jealous, but I admit he is good looking. I'll be the Prince's bride when I grow up. Just wait, you'll see. 
He's mine, girl. What piece in this country goes? Queen's Sigrund and the Prince. Queen's Sigrund. I've been saving an odium and I'm becoming a mother green girl. Prince will turn 18 soon. Once he finds a bride, he'll become king. He's an older man. Anything new? Make some cash. And grab a drink real quick. I'll be back in a second. Mysterious cat lives in the Wonder Woods. So we will say a witch in the woods too. What about a cat witch? I wish my hubby was half as smart as the prince. Oh well, he can't have everything. Prince must be able to use as much nodium as he wants to. I just need to spend some on as well. Oops. Saw a witch in the Waterwoods. What the monster we, or that puppet we picked up? Is that none here? No. Hornet wear those? Can I just buy a... Hmm. Square Oh, I have to like... Okay. Huh. That's 500 bucks. Do I want to buy that? Mm. Ah. We can handle the enemies with what we have right now. go visit the rest of the woods that we kind of skipped. <laughs> Illustration one. This has, that's for the uh, intro screen or whatever, the main menu.
No encounters in here so far, which is weird. Oh. As soon as you, you say it, it happens. Some happy looking slimes. It's like another game. Skill level increase, skill level is now at level 2. Skill level what? <laughs> the horn or something? Skill level 1? I don't know, it's been for... I'm not sure what the hell... That even means. Just <laughs> mean our skills are stronger. Maybe we we have a stronger heal or something now. <clears throat> Jeez, get no encounters and we get two on one screen. notes mean on top. Let's find out here. Well, map commands. Status window, battle map. Appreciation gauge. Assuming Gauge is an indicator of the puppet's appreciation to cornet. When this gauge is filled to a certain point, you will get the reward command. It's page 15. Appreciation reward. When cornet plays her horn, each puppet will, within the effective range will give her one point of appreciation. Maximize the points you're in when playing one, uh, one two in turn. For as many pipettes as possible in the effective range. The gauge indicates the how many appreciation points you have earned so far. It's got appreciation gauge. Blah, blah, blah. Reward. When you have enough earned enough appreciation points to fill up the appreciation gauge, let's use a reward. Reward allows you to attack an entire group of enemies at once. Hit all the members of your party. It's basically just a super attack, basically. I wonder if you can, like, hold on to those, or if you have to use them right away. I'm assuming you can hold on to them. Really wants to join your party? Okay. <laughs> Apparently you can have monsters join your party too? Sure. Welcome to our party, Jelly. Jelly X. <laughs> no magics. Can equip stuff on my jelly too. Interesting. Been through this entire cave now. Oh, it's the last one. It's over here. 
here are the ducks. It's the Nadley River. You'll be sorry if you fall in. I haven't saved in a while. <laughs> Save. The games that allow you to save anywhere is usually the games I save the least. Because, you know, I don't get a reminder that I I don't save, right? <laughs> Unlike games that have, uh, you know, save crystals or whatever. And you spot those, like, oh yeah, I gotta save. So you think about it. Well, I wonder what happens if you die in this game, if you get, like, a game over instantly. I should purposely try to get a game over to see what happens. can die here. A little harder now that we have another dude with us. Attacking ourselves, I wonder? This might take a while. This might take a long while. I don't think it's possible to do, to lose here. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's gonna be possible. Try the next area. Get some tougher enemies. Alright, so that's it in the forest. What the hell? Okay, is that, is that her scarf? <laughs> I think she was holding a box or something in front of her. It was weird. I can see why people mention this game being easy. I mean, I purposely put it on the hardest difficulty just for the hell of it. And so far, I mean, obviously we still early in the game there, but I mean that that quote-unquote boss fight we had against the uh, cats there was not a challenge at all. Beauty of nature and culture, that's what Mother Green is all about. Husband's the captain of a ship that sails the blue cat. I miss him whenever he's away, but I'm proud of him being captain of a ship. My mother wants me to marry a person with a steady income, so I'm so sick of her telling me what to do. Thanks for the host. Welcome to a musical adventure. Oh yeah, Deception was a pretty quick one. It was under 10 hours. Playing a whole bunch of uh, quick ones back to back. <laughs> Gauntlet Legends is a quick one. Deception is a quick one. 
I mean, Deception is one of those games that you, you could you could play a lot of if you did the multiple playthroughs. There's there's multiple endings. I mean, there was at least four, considering we got ending number four. And um, there's like expert mode and stuff like that. So there's definitely additional stuff you could definitely do in that game, but. Hey, Redfield, how's it going? <clears throat> well, there's a lot of books here. What is that, Pokemon? I'm gonna sell my house and move to the countryside. Hey, Roll. No, I can't stand the... Oh, the Rat Race. <laughs> it was like, the Rat Race? <laughs> what is the Rat Race? <laughs> rat Race. Isn't that usually like, hyphenated or whatever? A white candy. An outsider, right? No. No, don't lie to me. Or something a little more appropriate next time. Or at least, you're going to have to dress a little nicer, too. Especially if you're here for the prince. The ruins that we see today were once used by ancient people. I mean, yeah, that's why they're called ruins. <laughs> Doesn't it excite you that you might be exploring something used by the ancients? The commoner store. <laughs> Just want to go visit the commoner store. Only commoners are allowed. Get away from me! There's a toad in here. A monster collector. You sell me one? And sell monsters? I don't want to sell a shark. Find a rare monster, sell it to me, okay? I mean, why would I sell you a rare monster when I want to use it? <laughs> this is stuff that's worth a lot of money that we need to buy or something. Work hard, peasants. <laughs> but all of these. There. Not enough nodium. What? Monsters wanted. Monster boy at commoner store. Alonzo is the worst minister ever. It says that he ended up. He ended the Minstrel War 16 years ago, but I seriously doubt that. The Green, what a great city. Actually, for a country bumpkin like me, I think it's pretty impressive. Girls everywhere are talking about Prince Ferdinand. This will be 18 soon. It's high time that he found a bride for himself. <clears throat> Fred knows that Twad is going to win the contest. But you can't blame anyone for trying... This is everything a girl could want. Where's my mommy? Tumpty Dumpty. Looks like a puppet. Egg sure has me fooled. I was lucky when I found the egg, but it was just an egg toy. No need. So would you like to have it? Sure. I didn't take it. I don't want it anyway. Buy the toy egg. Huh. Toy egg. Hmm. You have to bring it to her, her granddad to use it as a puppet. He didn't talk, so it's probably broken. Ready, Coca? There's also that that thing that looked like a toy or a puppet in the in the forest that we found, but never showed up in our inventory.
Hey, Puff Nipples. Yep. <laughs> Not gonna be on for too much more there, but... Hey, Dudette. Huh? Who's there? Over here, Dudette. Hey, that egg is talking. Can you hear me? Nah. Don't lie to me. That's pretty messed up if you're giving me an answer, dude. I got it. You must be... Name's Kid. You know, those are three egg brothers. Let's totally separate from them. It may look stupid to you, but we're destined to become real heroes for sure. Can you play your horn and let me join your party? Sure. Man, you're so cool. Just play the funky horn, Dudette. Kinda... <laughs> is, it, is this like the... The begin this is like the this is the first draft of the uh of the printies. <laughs> Thanks, I'd like to totally kick some butt. Kid has joined the party, dude. Must be a penguin egg. That would totally make sense. <laughs> This time to make myself look like a sexy lady. You failed miserably. <laughs> I know we don't have a sign up front, but we can custom tailor clothes. You see my little boy? Where you ran off to now? I'm gonna wait for me until I was done shopping. What a little brat. This is what is coming to check out her dress today. I can't wait. Magic candy. I'm getting stuck on doorways. Cornet, why don't you play your horn here? Go Cornet, go Cornet. Time to make some more cash. I wonder if you get more money <laughs> in like further cities. Twenty-eight. It's a weird increase. The only thing I hate about this kingdom is that Galonzo is her minister. Restaurant on the lake. Uh, I don't see a lake. This restaurant's a lie. Welcome to the restaurant on the lake. What the? A girl dumped me again. A big fish. Yummy. Fish that I caught in Lake Mirage is simply the greatest. restaurant makes the best orange fish dish. It's the prince's favorite, you know? Well, I mean, I did play a little bit of Deception 3 uh, last stream. But yeah, pretty much finished it in a day. It seems like a lot of the uh, recent ones are pretty quick. I just I just happen to be like splitting them up because like I, I start one, one stream and finish up the next stream. Like this one here, for... for Everything I hear about it, it seems like it's going to be a relatively short game. I'm obviously not going to be playing too much longer tonight there. But uh, I can see this being a, uh, a game I'll finish tomorrow. And those are the Bobos that can be found in the Natalie River in Wonder Woods. We have to go do some fishing. I think I'll call Natalie River the Natalie Ritter for nothing. A long time ago, there was a girl named Natalie. She's about the same age as you. She fell in love and ran away with a member of the royal family. However, it was a forbidden for royal family members to marry commoners. Knowing that they could never be together, they decided to come into the river. 
Other than live a life without true love. It was then named after the girl. You should be happy just knowing that you're eating the same thing as the prince eats. I was answering the call of nature in front of the castle when the minister caught me in action. He was so P.O.'d, he was going to execute me. I was lucky the soldiers with him saved my life. The scent, the texture, the flavor. No wonder they make food for the royal family. The man there is a gourmet food critic. Did you hear that? The prince likes the fish called Bobo. Yeah, I heard. See, didn't I tell you? You should listen to me more often. I'm the brains of this outfit, you know. Yeah, yeah, whatever. That's so. Let's boogie over to Nedley River and catch us some Bobo. Oh, yeah, Captain Crunch. <laughs> Captain Crunch. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hey, is that you, Cornet? Yeah, the one with the big horn. Ha, ha, ha. Ugh, that better not be a twin. I knew it was you. Long time no see, Cornet. Hmm, anything wrong? You don't look well. Oh, I almost forgot. Your face doesn't look good to, doesn't look so good to begin with. That village girl outfit looks so good on you as usual. On the other hand, I don't have the guts to wear something like that. Simple and yet pure. I can almost smell the countryside. really be a jerk sometimes at twelve. Oh no, did I upset you? I was just telling you the truth. There really is nothing to get upset about. Oh, I see. You're upset because my godlike beauty, aren't you? I don't blame you. Even I would be jealous of my beauty. But unfortunately, I can't share this beauty with you. <laughs> this girl's in need of a major attitude adjustment. That voice, Uncle Ruru, I didn't see you. I've been here the whole time, you self-centered ego egotistical man maniac. Two are inseparable, just like real sisters. Being an only child, I feel so alone. Sometimes it brings a tear to my eye. Fortunately, these moments pass quickly. My, my, how time flies. <laughs> as much as I love wasting my time with you, I really must get going now. I have to get fitted with my custom dress. By Cal Calvin Klein. <laughs> wow. Of course. For the contest, it cost me one million in odium, you know. Hear that? One million in odium. You see, no ordinary dress can compare with my beauty. And the dress I'm wearing doesn't do me justice. I'm sorry, but I really have to get going. There's no time to waste. Ta-ta, peasants. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'll let her get to you, too, Cornette. Ah, uh, it well. It well. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> She's definitely not a star. Animu style. <laughs> Very animu. Defense 10. New items available. Come see us. to be the first to sign up for the contest. This is where the reception desk will be, so I'll be the first person in line. <coughs> Would you like to join the Prince Ferdinand fan club? What? I can't believe it. A guy like Alonso must be your type, huh? You scare me. Please write your name and address here. Alrighty then, Miss Cornette of Orange. I'll be sending you a newsletter soon. I'll join the fan club. My Prince Ferdinand. Medicoca. 
These are weird. How can you feel happiness just admi admiring a prince? See that white line down there? <laughs> Must be just... Makes me think there's something down there, but also it's probably just part of the graphic that's not supposed to be visible. Cut off by the overscan, usually. for nodium. Let's keep going straight to get to Marl's castle. You can't miss it. Or to be the wife of a prince. I know they won't pick me, but I can dream, can I? No, you're not allowed dreaming. Our and her party received blessings from the dragon statue. It's the Queen's idea to let people tour the castle. She cares about her people. We're here to tour the castle. Let's come visit the castle again if you have time. Okay, please don't touch anything in the castle. You might break something. I wonder if I should go back to the Natalie River and pick up the fish. I'm all the way down from White Snow to give a present to the Prince. But... The prince is going to accept my handmade sweater. The girl who's got in the prince's room has nothing to do with the prince. She thinks she's the prince's bodyguard or something. The prince always comes up to us and asks how we're doing. He's swell. was originally a commoner. Not everyone will, was happy when she became the queen, but that was a long time ago. Oh, just talk to me when they're tired. It helps them relieve some stress. I'll be happy to keep doing it. There's another thing they could do to relieve stress, but uh, you definitely don't want to be around that. I can't believe they assigned me to be Galonzo's stupid bodyguard. Is this, or the prince went to the woods without telling us where he was going? If he really wants to become king, he should act accordingly. Well, won the last two contests, but she's going to she's going down this year. My dream is to have my wedding ceremony here. Please, God, let me make out with Francis, and I'll never ask for anything again. Leaving God? No. You gotta have mercy on yourself. Godspeed. Mr. Glonzo is one of the heroes who helped the end the war 16 years ago. <laughs> the RNG gods, yes. Must pray to the RNG gods. Your beautiful melody, listen to it. Atlas, USA. <laughs> wow. <laughs> An Easter egg, I guess. I wonder if we put in a Japanese musical, is it going to give us the same thing? i to save more often in case we do hit a musical number. Atlas, USA. 
Yes. <laughs> that was weird. Seemed to go on longer there. It's just a. Is the Japanese one just like have that weird tone at the end, or just that coincidence? Atlas, USA. Yeah. Put it in Japanese, you get that weird like thing at the end. Strange. Seems cursed, yeah. Very weird. Oops. I figured it would, it would like say Nipponichi or something like that. <laughs> you know, just the Japanese thing, but. To see the prince, just turn around and go home. I reject the prince from the Verminous Society. Who does she think she is? The prince is not her property. Here to see the prince. A country girl like you wouldn't be able to talk to the prince. Let alone meet him. Who do you think you are? And don't go near the prince's room. From that girl that Galanzo is training monsters. Can you believe it? Did you know that Galanzo keeps a monster for a pet? If, if the queen ever found out, she would yank him out of his office so fast, it would make his head spin. I heard the growling of a monster when I walked by Minister Galanzo. Was it like his pet or something? He was just hungry. You're a charming individual. Yes, he is. I'm just ransacking this castle of Nodium. is mommy. The guy on the right is hammer. This is well brought them. I pointed them to become soldiers. Hi mommy. So a hell of a name. Engine weapon made of iron. Brought an end to the war sixteen years ago. There were three heroes, Mr. Galonzo and two two what? No such thing as an iron soldier, it's just a bunch of hoo ha. There was. Soldiers like us be out of a job. I mean, you guys are wearing full suits of armor, so... Um, iron armor. Well, steel, I guess. This is 12. Saved Mommy and me. We were wounded in battle. That's so why we're willing to risk life in order to protect her. This castle is huge. 
I'm so busy. I think cleaning this place is too big. I wish we would hire more people. <laughs> Castle. It's gonna go get that bobo, I guess. Uh, how about that dress? Where's the dress shop here? Yeah. Where's the twin? She's not here anymore. <clears throat> Mrs. Well came to check out her dress we're making for her. Yeah, I didn't know a p person could be so picky. Well, she has spending a million... a million dollars on it, and I mean, it better be perfect. <laughs> Suspension bridge? Assuming that's not where we need to go? We have anything I mentioned a suspension bridge? We know there's the Natalie uh, River here. is level 2. Learn Geo. I wonder if experience is split or everybody gets the same. Since we have like four characters in our party now. Yeah, it's kind of like a tactical combat style thing. Kid is level two. Okay, let's catch, catch ourselves some bobos. Get this over with. There, there. That's how you catch fish. That's not how I expected to catch a fish. Did nothing. Oh, yeah. 
don't know why they would change that. I mean, this would have worked out pretty well for a DS, I guess, with a touchscreen and that, you would think. It's strange that they got rid of the uh, tactical style. Chicken noodle soup. Sounds yummy. Level five. Learn to wake. Level three. Level four. Tons of experience in that fight. All right. Let's go back and cook up, cook these up for the prince. This way, meow. I smell food, meow. Yeah, you guys again. Meow, give up your fish. Meow. Just give it up, meow. We're gonna have Mr. Bird cook us up a nice dish, meow. Ornette, looks like these crazy or the crazy cat girl's not here today. Put these guys out before us. So let's do it again. You meow, taking us lightly, meow. Yeah, meow. So I'm just telling the truth. Yeah, more. All right then, go get him, Cornet. Hey. You're putting the microphone. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. I'm not supposed to blow into the microphone, you're supposed to sing into the microphone. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Pretty much anything anything on the DS that required the microphone is basically just like just making noise into it. Yeah, yeah. Very likely uh, I'll I'll pass up the DS version. Be too too many minor changes. Or too few changes, I guess, to play both. Hey, random person. Do they add some more musical numbers? Is there more than one? That was the Makai Kingdom. The one I'm aware of. Unless the other ones were Japan and only. Better they're on portable. When it comes to the console console games, I have a pretty good idea what what games are out there, but for, for portable games, I have very little I mean it's some games I'm aware of, but overall, the DS library, the Game Boy Advance library, etc. I don't, I don't know it off the top of my head. <laughs> Club Cell is part of the Makai series, I right? can write as well. Didn't realize they were all tied together. <laughs> Been cactused. Gotcha. Same world and whatnot.
Seems like anything I'll be missing. There we go. So, I'm sure I'll be safe to skip it when I get to it. When it is a DLC character, wouldn't surprise me. I mean, this game is obviously very niche. Blocking him. Yeah, this one's a pretty basic SRPG, though. And Paisado? Plato? Yeah, we beat him good. Why are there so many cats running around? I'm starting to hate cats. Never mind about that. Let's go while the fish are fresh. Heal the earth. Where's HP? Here's what the suspension, suspension bridge has. You can't recruit monsters in the DS version, oh yeah? That's kind of weird, they cut that out. It definitely adds to your party. But it depends if they add more puppets. I mean, it's not like I would need that extra monster we have. <clears throat> At this point, if I didn't find if I didn't have that Jelly X join me, I would just had Kid and Shart. And considering that they're probably a lot tougher than the Jelly, anyways. Yeah, exactly. I imagine once I have a full party of puppets, monsters are probably going to be put in the backside. Yeah, exactly. I'm not, I'm not looking to, to do a completionist run of this. <laughs> completionist run of this would be hell. Like, I don't even know... I don't know if every monster can join me. I've only had one that even offered to join me so so far, so I can just imagine how hard it'd be to have all the rest join you. Unless there's items that increase the chance of them showing up or something, or... of recruiting them or whatever. I'm gonna retire from being guard soon. 
When I do, I'll probably move to Red Hot. Oh no, the guards are blocking the bridge. We have no way of getting across this very, probably very shallow water. Possibly. But it's also, uh... We have all this spot here, so I'm, th I'm thinking not. <laughs> What's the point of this thing right here? Switch the order around. But, who knows? Very possible. Not to worry about it. Permit? Sure. Let me see. Aw. Called my bluff. Don't have it. Don't lie to me, girl. I'll let you do that a permit. Go home. Ancient forest? Ancient forest. And now we're inside some ruins. Optional area or something? Optional dungeon? Actually, that's a good question. I've been meaning to try to die. Let's, let's try to die. I want to see what happens. I, mean, I have it on hard mode. The turn off auto attack is going to be annoying. The answer is no. A slime might die. Especially since if I don't move and I just end, I, I go into defensive mode. Pain in the ass having to move. Apparently. This is on hard. Just imagine what it'd be like on <clears throat> on normal. I don't know if hard like what, what hard actually does. Even the manual mentions it. I don't know if the enemies actually do more damage or maybe they drop less experience or drop less gold or something like that. The difficulty level. <laughs> That's all it says. Difficulty level, easy, normal, hard. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about what the difficulty uh, does. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of people are mentioning it, so I figured they all just played on hard. Because why not? Jelly's about to die.
My slime went to heaven. <laughs> yeah, the whole game has that very happy feeling to it. Explosion. There we go. Do more of that. One more that has full full mana. Alright, so do you get a game over? Or do you get to reset the fight or just go your last save? So you just go back to the, uh... Cool. Now I know. Not that, you know, <laughs> we're at any risk of dying anytime soon. It's not with the current enemies that we're fighting, but... It's good to know, just in case. When you have four dudes, it's like <laughs> there's not enough room to put them. Usually, you have like a you have a character that just doesn't have the ability of hitting the enemy. They just stand there looking stupid. Dead end.
be leveled up. Um, Earth heal is expensive. That's the right path. Must visit the rest, the first floor first. Must just be like a hundred floor dungeon. down either way we look at it. The mighty treasure. Oh, I didn't hit the other dude. are uh, very bouncy. Back at the entrance is another hmm. Pretty sure I went downstairs and go upstairs at any point. God, this is a maze. <laughs> There's a lot of empty rooms in this. There's no way in hell I'm going to be able to find everything. More treasure. Should have brought a uh, teleport thing. So how the hell am I going to get out of here after this? It's going to suck. Barrel. We got name tag. Frustration five. We have one and five. Still missing <laughs> two, two to through four. I'm already lost. What direction did I come from? <laughs> Damn it! 
All these look the same. Well, I guess that's the end of this level. Six. I thought the science place was sideways. Highlight run one eye was its eye, the other eye was its mouth. Gotcha. That would would have been weird. We want the bee to join our party. I mean, it's a very sexy bee, so doesn't really make sense in the anatomically. Sure. What if they level up if they're not in our party? You get a slower rate. Experience is zero right now, so I should be able to find out pretty quick. Ooh. Like right now, uh. A weird sound for something called sleep spore. They get woken up just by a missed hit. <laughs> it's weird. I don't know what the skill level thing does. One thing I can think of is magic skill. I was gonna say, if I hit that, it just teleports me to another part of the dungeon. God damn it. It's even more convoluted now. feels like it's a it's like a large optional dungeon and the monsters aren't hard or anything but Sometimes the encounter rate is stupid. With two steps, bam. Other times, you can go like 20 rooms without seeing an encounter. I like how the AI moves your characters. <laughs> it's 
It's like oftentimes your, your character is going to block another character from attacking an enemy after they move. But trying to mainly do that combat is going to be a chore. so hopelessly lost in this. All I know is that I'm going downstairs if I want to go back up. If I want to go back to the entrance, I just have to go upstairs, but... Huh. Is this the same area I just went to? I think it was, but it's empty. Sure is far and few between in here. I forgot to check my B and see if it was getting experience. I doubt it, but never know. Which kind of sucks, actually. If you, if you get a monster and you capture him at level 1, and you're like level 20 at the time, I don't think you'd be willing to spend time to level it up. Unless it's a really good monster. No, level one. That eh, answers that question. Up to rooms.
This moon is heading this way. <laughs> Counter it, please. How hard is it to escape? I think these guys are giving us that much experience, anyways. Wait. Yeah, we were heading. Okay, that's right. We got some treasure, and then we were heading back. Stairs up. Hey, Family Jack. How's it going? Dungeon definitely needs more landmarks, <laughs> so I don't get completely lost in it. This is going to be really easy to get lost in here. <laughs> well, thanks for the follow. Holy. Didn't I already have Holy? Spell that I have. That was called Holy. The Stronger Holy? Not a problem. When you're not following and keep coming back, it's even better. It's like you just, just keep getting attracted to the channel. It's awesome. Oh no, Saint I had. Saint inflicts damage, holy damage, so. I wonder if this is about 25 mana. Wow, that's, that's like half our mana. Why is wake so expensive? 15 mana to wake somebody up. That's pretty intense. Yeah, there's uh, there's been two musical numbers so far. And surprisingly, the game even has Japanese options for the musical numbers, which is kind of mind-blowing for this era, especially considering this is on a CD format, right? Oops. And they had it set to Japanese there. The weirdest thing, though, is in the Japanese uh, format, it, the subtitles are also in Japanese. <laughs> if you put it in English, then of course you get the English subtitles with it. Yeah, the opening is pretty it's pretty epic. God, I'm so lost. I have no idea how to get out of this place. Energy guide. Can I sort? No sorting option. Unless it's automatically sorted. High quality illustration. You fancy high res graphics. A high res picture of Cornet. <laughs> I know, right? I, I was reading the manual. Like I, I put out the intro, uh, or like at the, the main menu. It was like, all right, I'll look through the manual real quick, and then it started playing. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> it's one of those things that'd be easy to miss too. Like if you. We started the game, it doesn't play during the actual game itself. Horn's playing her horn. Yeah, we that 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 puppet we picked up in the uh, in the forest. Whatever happened to that? I, like she, she says something something about it being weird and then we never got it in our inventory or anything like that. It's just, it's just gone. <laughs> but maybe I'll make a comeback at some point. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, it's definitely a weird song. It's like, what the hell is this? It's very unique, the era especially. Dungeons and Dragons on Broadway? That would be weird. Or are you just talking about this game, you mean? Run away, the bees! God damn it. <laughs> oh. Okay, at least you don't lose a turn when you escape. It's just like, alright, you failed. <laughs> Keep going. I hate this map especially, like, the... The, uh... Debris on the map make it extremely hard to have more than one... than two people attacking at once. Because two people are just hanging around doing nothing. Ow. Poison did a lot of damage. That was like 20 damage from that poison. It's pretty high for uh, <laughs> for a turn. Wow. No, the uh, I'm playing the games in chronological order uh, in, in terms of their release date in North America. I do have a list right here. So if you, if you go to my uh, beaten games list, that's, that's going to show the games I've beaten as well as pretty much in the next 50 or so games on my list. I usually add them in, in chunk by year. And if you use the next five command, I'll just, that's just a quick way of seeing the uh, next five upcoming games. Digimon World. Yeah, Dive Alert is uh, it's a Neo Geo Pocket Color game, so that's a uh, very uh, unknown console, or, well, portable system, I guess. So far, the uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color games actually have been pretty pretty okay. They've been relatively short, and you know, they've been interesting games, so I don't know how Dive Alert is going to be. It's, like a submarine RPG. I don't even know what the hell to expect out of that one. Yeah, they actually have a decent number of RPGs. There's like, what, like six or seven of them on there? Surprisingly good amount of them. Actually, I do have uh, I do have one Digimon game on Wonder Swan Color because it was a released it was released in English. So technically, I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of surprised they never ported Chrysalis for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. <laughs> I mean, they ported it to the Game Boy Color. I guess the New Year's Book of Color just probably died at that point, so they didn't bring it over. A super cool micro switch mini thumbstick. It wasn't like an analog stick. You want a second B? I guess I can sell them. 
with the bee into slavery. She can make honey. Alright, I am like super lost in here. <laughs> we have no... No teleporters, eh? All I know is I want to go up. <laughs> up is good. Where I can go up from here? Make sure there's nothing else in this area. Treasure. So this seems like it's an AoE, maybe? Maybe not. Oh yeah, definitely an AoE. That's why it's so expensive. Oh yeah, wow. It's kind of a weird ant quote unquote analog stick. Well, I guess it wouldn't be an analog stick, it would be a, be a digital digital stick. <laughs> it's a D stick. I think this is the exit. Yeah, we got it. I don't know if I found all the treasure in there, but. <laughs> that makes sense. I guess it makes sense from Neo Geo. So how can we make an arcade stick fit on a portable system? Done. Sorry, 2600 controllers rain log, weren't they? Or maybe not. This fish. We bring it to the kitchen. Hmm. Where the hell is the kitchen? Oh, is this treasure? Oh yeah, this one. Atlas USA. Atlas USA. Yay. In the Japanese version, which is the exact same thing, but like with a weird extra long thing at the end. Yeah, so it's only the, only the Japanese version that has the weird the weird thing at the end.
So weird. <laughs> also, something like it's uh, maybe the Japanese one would had like like a longer a longer sentence, but because they they didn't add the Japanese one in the English version, it kind of goes past the, the point where you know they do the Atlas USA and it goes into the beginning of another soundtrack or something like that. Yeah, that's why. We gotta make sure you know who did, who uh, published this. <laughs> who do we bring this fish to? Haven't. We gotta break it out. This, both this game and sequel. Oh yeah, that's kind of it's kind of stupid. Wow, imagine that you pick up the game expecting it to have both, and they're like, "Oh yeah, surprise! We didn't include the second game." Was there a, like, was the sequel to Japan only or something? I wasn't aware there was a sequel to this. Three game series. Wow. Maybe we have to go. The guy was mentioning the contest. We have to go sign up for the contest. And it's in that girl's room, girl's house there, back in town. Nyo, Okoku no Ningyo Hime too. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Sounds like a Bethesda game. <laughs> it just has like the DS version as a complete uh, rip off there. It's a quick cash grab. That's where the reception desk will be, so... There's st still no sign-ups. Hmm... Got fish, but I don't know what to do with it. Everybody talks about Galonzo, but I haven't seen Galonzo yet anywhere.
Yeah, I wasn't aware there were sequels to this either, but I guess, you know, Japan only would make sense. Or if they're just as musical, they kind of got rid of the musical part of the game. I imagine that's probably the selling point of this game, is the... the whole musical part. Wait, hey, we have to go kick, cook the fish, right? We got fish, but we have to cook it. So we have to go home and cook it. Fish we have is raw. <laughs> Give him some fish sushi. Sushi. Let's cook. There we go. What's you guys? What are you up to? I love cooking, I love cooking. It's humming. I love cooking for you, my prince. Okay, I guess it's ready. <laughs> Take a perk and beat into the ground, yeah, pretty much. Remove the English song vocals. Did the extra scenarios of the third game, oh yeah. It's crazy. What do you think, Kuru? This is Cornet Special, Orange Fish. Oh, let me taste it. Hey, get your grubby little hands off of that. I made it special for the prince. Give me just a little bite. Hey, it tastes really good. Really? Yeah, really. This has fruity aroma and elegant flavor that tickles your tongue. So glad you like it. I'm a pretty good cook, aren't I? Now the question is, how are we going to bring it to the prince? Hmm, shall, what shall we do? Wait a minute. You can use that path. Hey, Cornet, catch up with me outside the church later. Well, the game's pretty fun. I mean, combat's pretty basic, but I like the style of the game. Yeah, that's true. Makes sense. <laughs> I mean, the DS, I mean, DS card could potentially have that much space, but it would cost a lot of freaking money, and there's no way in hell they would pay that much money to, to make a card that big. But, I mean, in general, the DS screen was, well, let's say the DS screen was lower resolution, but, I mean, PS1 is, what, 240p? What was the DS's resolution? Six by 192 times two, I'm assuming. So I mean, slightly lower resolution than PS uh, PS1, but not by a huge amount. It's only about uh, what, like 20% less resolution. We wouldn't have to cut down the visuals that much. I was going to say, if there's, there's no UI on here, so it's not like you have to worry about... If there's UI, you could easily stick the UI on the second screen or whatever, but... Hmm. 
a serious cat lives in the winter. Yeah, I mean, well, I, I guess the audio would have been the trickiest part. Because, of course, you know, the whole point of this is the, the audio, right? So, <laughs> you, you could strip out the, the musical numbers and reduce the, the size quite a bit, but... Should be quiet, we're almost there. I thought if I would do this... I was gonna say. <laughs> I'm curious to see. I'm curious uh, how big it, the the actual CD is. I mean, most of the CD uh, uh, most of the CD size is probably taken up by the, uh, the the music. And again, you have Japanese and English, so for, at least for the vocals. And how many vocal tracks is there? Like ten. Got the uh, lyrics in the manual. So you got one, two. It's a contest version of Let's Go On. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it looks like there's like nine, ten. So there's, there's ten. It's like ten tracks that have lyrics at least in the manual. Not in man song. It's pretty short. The other ones are fairly long. So if those are all on the disc in Japanese as well, it's quite a bit right there. Of course, most of the other song, most of the other music, could, it's not like just CD audio or anything like that. So. Four hundred fourteen megabytes. There you go. So it's compressed quite a bit, obviously, to fit on the uh, on the DS. Audio quality could be reduced quite a bit, I would imagine, though. Especially if you're, you know, if you're if you're playing it on the DS speakers versus like headphones, you definitely wouldn't need as as good audio quality. This this says, surprise, an old waterway. It's not in use anymore. It's so called ruins, I guess. Ruins. Yep. Take this thing all the way to the castle if you wanted to. Kind of like an escape route for people in the castle. But not many people know about it. Even the ones living in the castle. Hmm, how did you know about all that? Oh, you asked too many questions. Let's go. Depends a lot on backgrounds and stuff too. I mean, if they if they use some sort of tile-based system like on the uh, the DS versus like all all the backgrounds being pre-rendered, that would definitely save some space too. Yeah, the backgrounds in this one definitely seem to have a combination of both pre-rendered and tiled stuff. I mean, these dungeons here, they reuse these textures a lot. <laughs> So there's a lot of reused assets in here. The last cave I went to had the exact same look. I don't know how DS does its compression for, for graphics. Geo wise. Elling Ellinger. Sure, Ellinger, you can join our party.
door is locked. Oh, pick the lock open, jeez. Raises intelligence. Seems like a spell I'd never use. <laughs> it's like you can slightly raise your magic damage. Unless, of course, it's permanent, <laughs> which is not very likely. Hold on, there's a switch. Huh? It's stuck. There. Oh yeah. I forgot to tell you about the secret of the switch. <laughs> Demikururu. Monsters will appear just like that, so be careful. <laughs> Stupid. Why should you say so before he turned it on? That's a really tight quarters here. So that's how you can only have one person fighting. is pretty good. I like the style, I like the characters. Music's great. Combat's pretty pretty basic, but let's go. And so far it's pretty easy considering we're playing on hard. Hey Kuru, I can't see anything. What did you expect? It's dark in here, duh. Besides, we can't use a torch. The room seems to be filled with gas. <laughs> gas? Yeah, gas. What kind of gas? Something really stinks. Hey, Cornet, did you... <laughs> no way. <laughs> you, we finally made it. Doesn't smell great. Can't have everything. Hey, what's this? You, you came out of the toilet. Sure looks like it. You, how do I let you talk me into these things? You really expect me to meet the prince smelling like this? Calm down, Cornet. I'm not being used anymore. Honest? Look here, it says out of service, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Ah, you don't have to yell. What would the prince would think if he heard you? Excuse me, Koru. What's going on? Who's yelling out there? Yeah, pretty much, right? <laughs> it kind of makes me wonder if they be able to go back at this point to, to make like another simple one like this. I mean, at least all their current ones, or their games still have that that kind of, that charm, right? All the Disgaea games and that. Maybe, maybe now you know with the Switch being as uh, popular it is, and like every company bring out their old games on the Switch. Maybe they they might try something like that. Sephiroth, Mary, how's it going, Mary? You like musicals? Musicals are great. Thank you so much for the uh, eight months. How's it going? What's going on here? Can't you do it quietly? Hmm. What are you doing here? Karu, th this is the men's bathroom. Uh, so something we should have been worried about now. Yeah, people have mentioned it, which is... I, I wasn't aware this game was part of a series, but... Kind of cool to try the other ones. Never been, never seen you before. You must be... Uh, we were just... I don't understand there. I say something. 
You must be a secret admirer, huh? Huh? No, oh, it's so hard being me. Women just can't get enough of me. Steaming in like this? How adorable. Hmm. <laughs> what is that pleasant smell? <laughs> Man, collection for it? Yeah, you never know. They might they might bring out a Rhapsody collection at some point. Fan translations, yeah. It seems to be hard to find any fan translations for PS1, especially PS2 games. But, I mean, hell, they're releasing Lang Razor 1 and 2. So, who knows? One day. Oh, I see. This is, uh... Oh, you shouldn't have a present for me. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, you're right. She made it for you. Just for you, M Minister Galonzo. She talks about you all the time and blah 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 We'll get arrested if we don't do this. What are you guys mumbling about? Come on, just play along. Follow my lead, okay? 363? Surprisingly small, though, considering the, the amount of, uh, of music in it. Or vocal tracks, I guess. Yeah, yeah there's definitely quite a few. I'm assuming in general it's probably harder to harder to uh, to translate PS1 games. It's probably harder to kind of like rip the the uh, like the text and all that stuff compared to the SNES and earlier. Is there please not some language for yet? Pretty much. And not only that, I mean, it's a generally it's a lot more text-heavy on the PlayStation One generation compared to the NES and SNES generations. So it's just the the quantity of text as well. It's harder. I'm right already. I'll try it. Really, you, know you can talk you face to face, right, Cornet? Yeah, I'm happy to. <laughs> Is that so? Huh? Hmm, you're pretty cute. Let me see your face. Come here so I can get a better look at you, my dear. Do what he says, Cornet. Just think about your prince. Come closer, my dear. Don't be shy. Come on, Cornet. Just do as he says. Hmm? Why are you so shy? Come here. I won't bite. Hmm? Are you nervous? How adorable. Ah, get away from me, you pervert. <laughs> That's it, buddy. You're going down. <laughs> huh? I can't see. Help! Somebody help me! I'm being ambushed. And get them! Hurry! Off of their heads! Okay, no net. That's the Yasumi series? I don't remember that series. On. Healing candy, yay! 
Think about a kid in summer vacation to Japanese countryside. <laughs> oh yeah. That seems very Japanese. <laughs> That's basically like uh, Animal Crossing. <laughs> Assassin, I'll see to it that you pay for your crimes. Hurry, let's get out of here. Uh, are you alright, Cornet? Yeah, I guess. That old pervert, how dare he? He ruined our plan. I won't let him get away with this, never. Next day. A realistic animal crossing. It's a harvest moon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought there was going to be a cutscene happening here, like waiting for something to happen. I wonder if there'd be like a lot of uh, dialogue in that game to translate, or sometimes too, it's just the way that the the way the dialogue is embedded into the into the game it can be hard to kind of like separate it, I guess, from the rest of the data files. And that's probably part of the problem too. It's like you can just hack the ROM and look for the uh, for the. Um, the text and just change that in the ROM kind of thing. Oh, by the way, this is some kind of fan, fan club newsletter in the mailbox. Must be for you. Yeah, that definitely <laughs> makes it a lot tougher. Prince Fan Club Newsletter, Volume 221, Miss Marl's Contest. Be all that you can be. Will the winner of Miss it be Miss Etwell again? Rumor has it this year's winner will be the candidate for the Prince's Bride. The favorite to win is Miss Etwell of Mother Green, the winner of the last two years. This year's contest is expected to be really competitive. Sign up to enter at the enrollment window. Let's show the power of the fan club members. The enrollment window. for those assassins to get rid of Galonzo. I hate him. Oh well, it doesn't matter anyway. I got enough dough to move to Mother Green now. Warrant, suspect of Minister, Minister Galonzo's assassination attempt. His face. It's the pervert from yesterday. That means these descriptions are... of us? Uh-uh-uh. What are we gonna do? Wait, wait. We shouldn't panic. Because that's exactly what he wants. Showing really sucks anyway. No one can tell who it is from this picture. We must be cautious. We can't be conspicuous. Got it, Coronet? <laughs> but I am the most conspicuous one, by any chance. Phew, that was close. I'll have to be less conspicuous from now on. You're right, Karu. I'm quite shocked that the old man from yesterday was minister. Can someone like that be a minister? You have a wonderful prince in this country, so we're okay. Here we go with your prince talk again. Did you hear the minister was almost assassinated? <laughs> Digimon, yep. It begins. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that, I mean, there's three Digimon on PlayStation 1. And we're only hitting the first one now. Nuts. last one? Possibly that, or actually, I think Final Fantasy Origins is the last one. But I mean, obviously, <laughs> technically older games, but yeah. I'm sure 3 is probably definitely one of the last 
you know, non-compilation releases. It's like Ark the Lad compilations, one of the last ones too, but again, it's a compilation. Red Hot, but just don't stack up to the other girls figuratively, figuratively and literally. <laughs> I think it's right to decide who the prince is going to marry at the contest. Oh dear, oh dear, what should I wear? If I marry the prince, I'll never have to work. But I'm not going to win. Hey, you going to be in the contest? In the town of Oasis, how about you? You participant? Okay, please fill out this form and sign it on the dotted line. Here. And here. Okay, that's it. The thing you need to know is printed on this form. Contest will be held the day after tomorrow. Good luck. Well, did you take care of your registration? Yeah, it's all cool. And here are the details of the contest. Well, I'll keep me in suspense. What does it say? Wear a dress that makes you look beautiful. Hmm. Really? It's a pretty lame way to judge how a person is. But why is it written so small? Is it some kind of contract or something? Never mind, I'll read it later. Anyway, let's go find something you can wear. Ho 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 ho. You there. Say you, Cornet. Damn it. I don't want to speak to you at well. Yeah, that must be twelve. I knew it. Those peasant clothes really stick out like a sore thumb. They should stop following me around, Cornet. You might get the wrong idea about me. What are you talking about? Hmm, I look a little tired, Cornet. Poor thing, are you not getting enough to eat? It's really be hard to live in poverty, huh? Of course, I wouldn't know anything about that. Anyway, what were you doing at the reception desk a while ago? You're not thinking about entering the contest, are you? Yeah, so what's it to you? Oh my, you can't possibly... Why not? Hmm. Why, she says, isn't it obvious? That's because I'll be in the contest. Besides, have you looked in the mirror lately? You're just way out of your league, Cornet. What's that supposed to mean? Oh dear, naive Kururu. It takes more than just hard work and effort to get by in this world. Money, money, money. Always sunny. In a rich woman's world. It's M O N E Y. Money will let me do whatever I want. In this world, money is fame, fortune, and power. <clears throat> Add that to my already exquisite beauty, and I am unstoppable. Oh, Cornet, we've known, each John, we've known each other for a long time, right? I even consider us friends. As a friend, I'll give you this one piece of advice. Don't enter the contest. Can't you see them trying to keep you from humiliating yourself? Nah. So I see. I'll take that as a challenge. I can't wait until they choose me. I'll be exciting. Or it'll be exciting. Oh, and by the way... Did I tell you that I bought the, all the dresses in this town? I like trying to find a dress, Cornet. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Good luck. Hm. I don't know why I put up with her. Ah. I'm gonna teach her, a stuck-up snob, that there are more important things than money. So what should we do? I never participate in a contest without a dress. Hold on, give me a second to think. Oh, wearing your underwear on the outside of your clothes. I've seen you done before. <laughs> ah, why do I even bother? You got a better idea? You can't buy a dress, we have to come up with something better. Something around won't do us any good. 
Let's go scope up what the store next door has. You know, Ms. Dwell placed an order for a three year supply of clothes. Sure is loaded. I'd like to order a custom dress. I'm sorry, Ms. Dwell bought everything available. You can try going to the Wonder Woods to find a dress. I heard there was a theater there. Might be able to find some leftover dresses there. The Wonder Woods? I think of a place that looked like a theater in there. I don't remember. I don't remember anything that looked like a theater. Hey, where'd my son go? I swear I'm gonna give that kid such a whooping. <laughs> Take my eyes off my mom. She just hands heads off to buy more clothes. We got the cave, the place where we found the the witch cat, which we had the Natalie River. I don't remember any sort of uh, any sort of theater. Weird thing again here. Hey, Ren. It is very kawaii. I think just maybe it's, maybe it's like a special puppet. Maybe you have, at a certain point in the game, you can pick it up. It's in, it's in her portrait. Right there. Where is this supposed theater? It's the this was the river. There was a theater around here. Hmm, hold on, Cornet. Don't you smell something? It smells pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. It smells like barbecue. Cornet, can I ask you for a really big favor? Don't tell me you want to eat what you're smelling. I'm hungry. I want to eat it. Please, Cornet, can we? No. Come on, come on, come on, I want to get some some of that barbecue. I said no. Barbecue. <laughs> no. Come on, come on, come on. No. Fine. Okay, right? Let's go. This way. Bag bars? <laughs> I don't know there was a place like this in the forest. Maybe someone renovated the theater and turned it into a store. After this meal, we're gonna get back to costume searching. Alright? Nope. Seeing you starving and all. 
Hey, you're the one who wanted to eat. Hey, special. Special barbecue and fun events. It's just somebody's garbage can. We make barbecue right. Choose a meal that you prefer. Kids combo. Children choose the right entrance. Try to fill up anybody. Big eaters choose the middle entrance. Healthy and low calorie lean eaters choose the left entrance. Middle it is. He's available to the left of each entrance. Hey, there's a sign here. Hmm. In order to serve you with the best food, we have placed various obstacles in the restaurant to get your juices flowing. Meal is ten times better after some good exercise. Good luck. Okay. What does that good luck part mean anyway? <laughs> Monsters! That's what they meant by exercise? Good luck, they say. or something. supposed to say something about filthy <laughs> oh, cat eyes <laughs> that's what I mean the, the, the worst part is because people mentioned how easy it was I put it on hard and it doesn't seem to be hard at all I can just imagine how easy normal would be. Although I'm not even sure what hard and like what's the difference between hard and normal anyways. The manual doesn't explain anything, it just says there's three difficulty modes. Like does it give us a uh, higher encounter rate? Does it give us stronger enemies, less experience and or money? Like uh, maybe, but It's like the same room. <laughs> flower is dying. Poor flower. I couldn't get out of the room. You gotta do an encounter in the room before you move on. Nope. Wait, this up oh, up it there. Give me notice. 
<clears throat> Come on. Nope. Look at the puppet. I wonder what the sign in the entrance... I wonder what the what's on the sign in the entrance of this room. I'll usually head to the next room after reading the sign. Come on. Get on the salt to revitalize your body. Hey, the floor here is covered in salt. More exercise, I take it. And somebody's messing with us. <laughs> yeah, pretty much right. Let's see what the uh, back says. All well, the adventures of Comet. Huh. I thought I read that as Comet in the back of the Cornet. Makes her way through the Marl's Kingdom in search of her one true love. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, it does have a very, you know, like, it's very anime compared to, you know, most RPGs of this era where they had, like, American box art, which is just got rid of, like, anything anime and just, like, macho Western art. <laughs> but who knows what they're trying to sell this to? Yeah, pretty much, right? It definitely wasn't made for young girls, but it, it definitely seems too easy for you know, the core audience that would usually play RPGs. At this at this point, Nipponichi wasn't uh, wasn't like a I, like what what games did they have up to this point? This guy wasn't a it was just a twinkle in their eye at this point, so. Oh yeah. It was made for otakus, but like, why is it so easy then? <laughs> I'm wondering if the the Japanese version was harder and just made it easy for the American. Because Japan probably was made for otakus, but when they poured it over, it's like, well. Won't make this easy for kids. Oh yeah, Mystic Quest is fun. Hmm. This is looking a little spicier. <laughs> Getting hot in here. Final step, the combination of sweating and food makes it taste better. Food part sounds good, but why the heck is it so hot in here? <laughs> yeah, maybe. The difficulty will suddenly spike. All the enemies will have like thousands of hit points. Be one-shotted by every enemy. I mean, I guess it's still fairly early in the game. Like three and a half hours in. Most of that was plot. Only plot would like basically counted to two boss bossish fights. <laughs> Pretty flower. Hmm, what a pleasant smell. I'm so hungry. Gee, I wonder if that's a secret passage back there. Oh, that looks like a boss fight. How are you ready, meow? Meat, 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 meat! I love making barbecue. To make great barbecue, you need to spice it up good. Oh yeah, here it is, the main dish barbecue. I make barbecue out of all of you. Barbecue, meow, barbecue, meow! Uh, this restaurant may not be the best place to find something to eat, especially when we're the main course. You guys look nice and fresh. Yum yum. 
of Unyenko's. Want to eat some delicious barbecue? Yeah, meow. Yeah, meow. I have a question. What's the key to making great barbecue? The exercise to get rid of unnecessary fat. Uh, no. You want nice tender fat on your barbecue. It'd be like really stringy barbecue was like just just meat, just muscle. How about the taste? Salt them lightly, meow. How do we cook them? Steam them lightly and tenderize them with a mallet. Good, good. Uh, let me guess. We're the ones being prepared to be cooked. Tenderized, right? Correct, Mundo. But not many fall into this trap as easily as you did. Shut up. Alright, let's tenderize and barbecuing begin. Tenderize, meow, meow. I'll let you tenderize me that easily. Let's go, Karoo. Are you ready? I'm ready. You get tenderized, baby. <laughs> uh, hello, stupid. Do you know what tenderize means? <laughs> tenderize. Boss fights are easy. I don't even have to use any special abilities. Like, how's this on hard? I'll be sorry you messed with me. I'm gonna pound you good next time. Pound, meow, pound, meow. Oh no, a secret passage. Totally didn't see that one. A mouse, but it won't help you get through the game. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Pick it up. If this was an adventure game that would have been like the super important mouse. We'd use like 20 screens from now. This is gross. Geez, anybody think about dusting this place? <laughs> Quit it, Karoo. Come on. Could be addressed in here somewhere. Let's check it out. Wow. This is getting interesting. Hello, my name is Elkin. Gigantic stuffed bear. Bear it looks like a rabbit. <laughs> no way, you're a stuffed animal. Hey, Cornet, I got a brilliant idea. Why don't you enter the contest wearing this? <laughs> huh? Come on, it'll stand out and it's cute too. You'll be able to beat it 12 with this, no problem. Contest? You should definitely use me as your costume. No. Alright, we don't have time. You gotta decide now. No. God damn it! Give me a Alrighty then, we're set. Thank you very much. I'd never get out of this dusty prison. I'll not be able to take the stage again.
Elkun has joined your party. What are you worried about? It's gonna be great. You'll see, just trust me. You really think so? I'm not so sure about this. Yeah, they did a complete 180 later on with this guy, yeah. Like, alright. Last game was too easy. Let's just make this one... Well, it's not like they made it. It's not difficult. It's more like... Just go overly complicated. Let's go. A B sixteen B E. It's like a weird bear, rabbit, dragon thing. <laughs> weird combination of a lot of different things. Puzzle and Mahjong games before. Got a weird uh, change going from those to, I guess, puzzle. <clears throat> Puzzles and RPGs are similar ish. It's puzzles and RPGs generally, but yeah. I, mean, I guess <laughs> they're used to Mahjong, so. They make some complex systems, I guess. Do you have any uh, magic? Lightning. Epusel. I guess this guy was the one after that. Gotcha. Easily top three RP easiest RPGs in PS1? Yeah. Yeah, Shadow Madness was... Shadow Madness kind of started off being difficult, especially, you know, that optional boss in the first area. And then, like, five hours in, nothing can touch you. <laughs> it's so stupid. Yeah, I'm wondering how those games were. Maybe that's why those games never made it stateside, too. I mean, they probably came out later on the PS1's life cycle. So they might not have been ported because... Well, this one might not have sold too well in North America either, but... You know, if you go from like an easy game like this, suddenly a game that's a lot more difficult and... That sucks. Did they bring out like a, the, the, the semi finished translation and they just never release it? Probably translated like everything except for the dialogue. <laughs> translated all the menus and then the important part of the dialogue is not translated, probably. Yeah, I, c I can't imagine this one of selling that much. It's strange that he dumped it then. It'd be nice if they like released something like semi-finished instead of just not releasing anything at all. So these seem to be the exact same thing, <laughs> no matter which door you go through first. Yeah, 
He's slow. So high because it's coming on DS. So that makes sense too. Because a lot of times the fan translation groups will, you know, if if they know something's coming out officially, they're they're not going to release the patch because they want, you know, the reason they were coming out with the with the localizations because the game wasn't available. They they come out with an official game and they're like, all right, <laughs> we're not going to try to harm the sales kind of thing. It's not like Rhapsody 2. <laughs> it's not like there's any plans, I'm sure, of any kind to release the other Rhapsody games in North America. Maybe they're going to release it. It's going to surprise us all of a sudden. Very unlikely, but you never know. A lot of unexpected games coming out on, on the Switch, so... Games that, you know, we've been asking them for forever, like Sick and Dead Setsu 3, that finally get released in North America. Miracles do happen, so... <laughs> next, next thing we're waiting for a release now is Mother 3. See that ever happens? <laughs> that's, like, that's like the two the two biggest games that never made it stateside that fans have been clamoring for forever. Especially since they're, you know, sequels of games that we, we did get released in North America. Split story thing. Gotcha. Doesn't even exist anymore. That sucks. Or if they have um, anything on uh, Wayback Machine or whatever. <laughs> All right, I am gonna be calling there for tonight. I think been like a almost a 12 hour stream with the deception this game's pretty fun so far I mean, I'm definitely enjoying the style so gameplay is is pretty jokingly easy I mean I'm playing on hard and it's definitely not saga that was the difficulty but definitely an enjoyable game so far anyways like characters and everything are are fun the, the comedy is fun music is good enjoyable game so far, but we shall continue this game tomorrow, so tomorrow I am, I should be on probably early afternoon, and we'll uh, continue this game, if it's as short as people are implying, probably finish it off tomorrow, and go from there. <laughs> this game is reverse wizardry, yeah, pretty much, right? Indirect mooring, yeah, we'll now stick in the C3 tr trilogy. And the weirdest part is like, you know, like, uh, you know, they had the collection, so it's like, alright, you know, the, maybe they'll eventually release that in North America, but then they, they also come out, it's like, alright, we're making a, uh, like an HD remaster, or remake, or whatever, of, of Trials of Mine. I was like, what? So now we're getting it once, we're getting it twice. So that kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah. All right. So yeah. Uh, so thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, some Rap City, and I'll catch you all tomorrow for continuation of this fun game. So in the meantime, have a great night, and have a great day. Bye for now, guys. See you all next time. <laughs>